This is WJTV News Channel 12 at 6. Thousands of stories, thousands of supposed sightings. Do big cats like panthers stalk the forest of Mississippi? Well, state officials say there is not enough evidence to support whatever it is people say that they are seeing. And tonight's Mystery Monday, Jacob Kittlesack goes on the hunt for answers when it comes to big cats. Some people have seen tracks in the mud. Others swear their animals are spooked, but most common are the calls. I knew what it was that I'd been hearing here. It sounds like a woman screaming. Dan Wilkes is a believer. He says he has seen a panther in Warren County, estimating its body was five feet long, with a tail adding another four feet to its length. I was sitting in a combine and had a good vantage point, and this big cat, probably 50 yards from us, took off and ran to our left. We got a, a farmer across the street there that's got cows and stuff out there. And the way the picture's showing with my camera set up, it's like it was coming from that away. Everybody mud rides down there. Ricky Brown says he has proof of these supposed big cats. He lives on Grange Hall Road near Vicksburg. Judge for yourself. This is a picture he caught on a trail cam about two weeks ago. He says it was in broad daylight right by a dugout mud hole. It's pretty good size. It's bigger than a dog. Got some big feet, little short pointed ears, and look like his tail's got a few stripes on it. But it's dark. I've received more phone calls about panther sightings than any other story I've ever done. The Mississippi Department of Wildlife, Fisheries and Parks, however, takes a different view. In a statement from an agency spokesperson, most physical evidence sent to the MDWFP is later identified as remains of large feral cats or other animals. Our biologists have not confirmed any panthers or cougars are in Mississippi. That may be the official explanation, but it's not enough to change Dan Wilkes' mind. Everybody accepts it. Everybody knows it. Although his sighting was 15 years ago, Wilkes says he'll never forget what was before his eyes. You know, it's not a deer, it's not a bobcat. You go through the list mentally, you know, within the first half second, and you know without a doubt it's, it's a large cat. Exploring the unexplained on Mystery Monday, Jacob Kittlestad, News Channel 12. Well, if you'd like to share your sightings or other ideas for Mystery Monday, email mystery. It's at WJTV.com.